Hello everyone. In this video, we will be creating a report on the approvals table. This was a question asked on my ServiceNow YouTube channel. So I thought of making a quick video on this. So this report would be creating a report of tickets which are approved by me. That is the logged in user in last one year. So if you are logged in as yourself, a list of approvals which you have done in last one year would be shown and you can customize this report as per your need. If you want to know more about basics of creating reports in ServiceNow, please click on the top right corner and let's quickly jump to ServiceNow and create this report. I'm here in ServiceNow and I'm currently logged in as ITL user and this is my personal instance, which is a fresh instance. I'll click on all, then I will click on reports and I'll click on create new. And if you see, this is a dark theme of my personal instance. If you want to see how to change to this dark theme, please click on the top right corner. I will name the report as approval report and choose table as source type and the table as approval. And if you see, there are many tables called approval. You have to choose the one which says says approval underscore approver. I'll click here, click on next. And this is a list report which is selected by default and list of all the approvals which are in the system. There are 663 will appear here. Now, if you click on filter, just go ahead and write approver is dynamic and then select is me. So anyone who will be opening this report and whatsoever approvals they had in their queue will appear here. So I am logged in as ITL user. So it should show me all the approvals which are related to ITIL user. There are around 60. If you see all those approvers are ITL users, but there are few states called no longer required and there might be requested also. So for filtering them out, I'll put another condition called state. And here I would say state is approved. Now it will show me only the tickets which have been approved by the ITL user or the logged in user. And there are around 11 tickets. Now let's add the last condition. And I'll say here and updated. So this stores the last updated date of this current record or the current approval record. Why didn't I choose created? Because we needed the report of the tickets which have been approved in last one year. You can choose created or updated as per your need, but I'm choosing updated because when the ticket is approved, the approval record gets updated with the latest date or the date it was actually approved on. And here I would select at or after. And then after selecting here, I will go here to years. And then I could say one year ago. And I will say save. And the report runs automatically. And there are again 11 records. If you see these are created on 17th of March. I'll just add a new column here called updated. So it shows me what date it was updated on as well. I'll click here on choose columns and I will search for updated. I'll say OK and I'll say save. And if you see the dates are also similar to the created date. And there are 11 records. So you can choose your columns according to your requirement updated or created. And then if you want a report of one year ago or maybe three months ago, one week ago. You can customize as per your need. If you have any more questions related to this video, please let me know in comments. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching the video.